is up, beautiful people? Welcome back to New Rod TV. And today, I went to a nice little card show, the Tampa Bay Card Show. Um, it, I was planning on going on Black Friday, but I had a lot of family over. They all decided to stay, and I didn't want to be rude and leave them. So uh, I went today on Saturday. So it's still Black Friday weekend. Um, I went by myself. I didn't go with no homies. Everyone was busy, which is understandable. Everyone's got their families. They're either working families or, you know, doing shopping for the holidays. So um, I went because this was going to be the only time I was going to be able to go to a show between now and Christmas. Because the next big show is going to be uh, Collector's Con, which I went to a couple months ago with. Mangini and James and um, who else went? Sticks and Seams. That awesome um, card show is going to happen again December 10th. And I'm going to be out of town visiting my boy, John Mangini. So I want to take the opportunity to go to the Tampa Card Show. And uh, it was just a different vibe. You know, I wasn't there with my homies. Um, I had, you know, pocket full of cash, but I wasn't going through the bargain bins weren't really there the vibe wasn't really i don't know if it was the holidays people were exhausted you know it was only 80 tables and half the tables were like pokemon and super modern so i hit like four tables five tables of vintage and spent most of my time there and all i did was really talk baseball <laughs> but my main objective was to get my Hall of Fame rookie cards. And um, at this point of my collecting, they're not really cheap. So I had to be smart. I was there for a couple hours. And I only bought two cards for myself. And I'll show you those cards. I was really focusing on my Latin Hall of Fame rookie card collection, PC, or just Hall of Fame rookie cards in general. I really wanted the 57. I found a beautiful 57. Um, but if I bought that, that was the only card I was going to get. <laughs> um, I did bring cards to trade. I actually sold two cards for about 80 bucks cash. I gave my buddy a good deal. Because, um, I mean, he's my homeboy. And, you know, it was fair to me. And I know he's got to make some money. So I left a lot of meat on the bone. And uh, so I sold him. It was a Sean Taylor, number 500. I think it was like a 2001. It was, a, it was his rookie year, 500, Donruss Elite, I think it was, and uh, Alonzo Mourning, number the 250 auto that I hit as a kid. And uh, I sold that for 80 bucks, both of those cards. So I thought it was super fair for both sides, and it was extra cash. And I actually ended leaving with that cash in my pocket because there was nothing I want, like I fell in love with. There was a lot of stuff I wanted, but nothing I fell in love with, so... Um, this video is going to be short. I'm at 3.30 right now. <laughs> I only got two cards to show because I did buy some things for some care packages, Christmas cards I'm going to be sending out soon. Um, so I won't be showing those because I want those to be surprises. But the cards I did buy, I'm going to show you right now. All right, beautiful people. So... First card I want to show you is a card I've been wanting for my Latino Hall of Fame rookie card PC. And it's this 1965 Tony Perez. And uh, I've been keeping an eye on it on eBay um, for like a BGS 5, PSA 5, 6. They've been going for about 120 to 140. And, um, and that's already graded, but I don't really care for graded. Um, I saw this in person, super, super clean. Centering is not bad at all. And uh, I was there and I offered the guy 120, he took it. So I'm super happy about that. Nice addition. Um, yeah, I wanna get his trophy, trophy cup card, which isn't too bad. I thought I had it, I don't. So that's gonna be next on my radar. So there you go. Hang out with Roberto Clemente over there. Now, 
some of you might know I've been going after this car for a while. It's hard because, you know, when you find it, it's usually super OC or the, the color is faded or the registration is, un, you know, not clear, very fuzzy. It's very difficult. The 58 set is a very unique set, in my opinion, with the solid colors in the back. But I saw it and I had to get it. Nice little 58 Sepera. It is OC, but the corners are nice. The color is vibrant. Um, it does have printing dots, but that's pretty common with this set. Um, the guy wanted 200. He went down to 185. I wasn't feeling it. I actually offered him this card to do this card and some cash. And, you know, most vintage guys, he, he had a little bit of everything, so he was a little bit into it, but he wasn't feeling it. So then I offered him, um, I actually brought a Top's Finest uh, Vladdy and was a 9.5 raw review from Beckett. I got several of those cars, but that's the only one I had with the Beckett review. And I thought it might be appealing because they already had the 9.5 on it. So I offered 100 plus that card. And he bulked at that, and um, he said 125 plus the card, and I offered him 120 because all I had was 20s, and he took it. 120 plus the Vladdy 9.5, top's finest rookie card, and I got this card. I'll trade shiny for cardboard, vintage all day. Shiny for vintage. That's my that was my goal with this one. That's what I did. So I actually left the card show with a little money in my pocket but i got these two bomb ass hall of fame rookie cards i couldn't be happier they're gonna look good in some one touches and just a couple more checks off my pc so let me turn the camera around so that's it I had a, I had a good time at the card show um like i said wasn't high energy, high impact. I think people were just burnt out from the holidays and, you know, with Black Friday and all that, energy was low. But um, I still had fun. I got two iconic rookie cards. Couldn't be happy with that. That's my Christmas present to myself. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone had a great holiday. Hope everyone has a great Hanukkah and Christmas coming up. Um, the Lou Rock household is going to be busy. We got Hanukkah. My wife is Jewish. Bob's birthday is coming up next week, and then we got Christmas, so a lot of fun, a lot of partying, a lot of uh, holiday celebrating with family, so it's family cards, and uh, I was, there should be a third, family cards, I don't know, and love, so with that, peace out, go Yankees.